Shady's back. Back again. Shady's back, Shady's back, Shady's back. Dee 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 dee. So guys, today we're gonna address the fear of losing stuff. I came up with an idea on how to do that and I'm gonna guide you through step by step. Hey! What you wanna do to get rid of that fear of losing is that we need to equip ourselves with stuff we don't mind losing. And how to do that? Well, obviously not by you know putting <laughs> all of the T5 and the nice weapons into action. Instead, we're gonna figure out something where kinda your loadout is literally free. Yeah, free. And then you can play Lockdown, because I'm going to propose to you a loadout that works in Lockdown, TV station, port, farm, Northridge, whatever you want, this loadout is going to work. And the way we're going to put it together is that it's not going to be like putting you into the underdog position. You're going to have a chance to compete against like all of the players because we're going to put together a nice T4 equipment for free almost for free. And because it's free, you're not going to mind losing it. And because of that, over time, you're going to get rid of that fear of losing stuff. So let's head into it. The first thing you want to do is that you're going to play Northridge Assault. Okay. This is very important. We're going to do this because we're going to farm faction currency. And from the faction currency, we're going to buy some stuff. And then we're going to use that stuff um, in the lockdown versions. So first, let me explain how we're going to farm the faction currency. What you want to do is to pick um, exactly what you're going to see on screen. First of all, you're going to need this helmet, the SH-12. If it's not added to your favorites, then you add it now. Or if you are brave enough, you can even try the map without a helmet. But this is a good choice. It's like 5k. And we're not going to pick an armor. We're going to pick an armored rig. Okay, let's see what I have at the moment. This one, for example, is good. And then for the bag, you can pick up the camping bag or eventually an old bag. This is all you need. So until now, I've been spending like 5K for this loadout. And uh, the idea on the long run is going to be that we're going to use um, bup, 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 contacts. Um, the stuff we get from Andre or Andre and Kyla. Some of you already know it, by the way, because I see some players using it. But for many of you, it might be still something new because it has been recently introduced. So Kyla is uh, selling this Age uh, Tech 5 armored rig, which is T4. And this is what we're going to spend our faction currency on. And also in the other faction, so from Andre, you can buy something very similar. It's called the Sentry 308. Also T4, and these chest rigs, armored chest rigs, are going to be perfectly fine in the future for the lockdown version. And for the weapon, you can actually choose whatever you want. Just put on a 4X scope or 6X scope. I still prefer like the M14, but I've been also trying the SKS yesterday, and it works. You can go with an M110. You can even play with an FAL or whatever works for you. But don't bring in like an ATK modded weapon because, you know, it's just not suiting like the game we want to play. Before I move any further, let me just quickly show you that I had a bunch of victories. I'm not saying that I won every single game, but, um, but if you win, then you're going to get approximately the price of an armored rig. And why is this beautiful? Why, why, why is this a thing? So if you go back to the contacts, then it basically gives you endless amount of free armor because it says merchant restock in 17 hours. And you can buy this 10 times from Kyla. And also you can buy the other version from Andre 10 times. It's 20 armor drinks and you don't need to spend a single penny coin on armor or the rig itself like 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 think about that you can jump into the tv station or um lockdown northridge whatever without having to spend on your armor and your rig and then if you pick up like a small bag that's 5k helmet 5k then it's like approximately 10,000 and then like weapon could be anything. It can be a 20,000 AKM, um, a 20,000 AK-74N 
or whatever works, but don't start using the 70,000, 80,000, 100,000 K guns because this session is not just for um, getting rid of our fear of losing stuff, but this is also to boost your storage value because if you follow what I'm doing, then every single time you extract, you're gonna extract with 50,000, 100,000, 200,000, depending on that specific game, and you are going to become rich very soon. And the definition of being rich is different for everybody. Some say it's 5 million, 10 million, 25 million, 50 million, whatever. But regardless of how much money you're gonna have, it's not gonna change like that fear of losing stuff, believe me. Because if you're gonna have 25 million, then you're gonna also have like a bad feeling if you start losing and you already lost like 3 million. That feeling can only go away if you practice that the stuff you are bringing with you is stuff that you are putting at risk. And in the game, during the game, you may lose that. You need to get familiar with that feeling. You need to be fine with that. Otherwise, you're gonna have always that oh my God, my hands are shaking and we don't want that. At the end of the day, this is a game, guys, and we should be enjoying that. And at this point, I need to remind you that I have it as well. So if I would be putting up a thermal T5, T6, my most expensive gun during the game, I'm sure I would have like a slightly shaking hand, especially if I see somebody. So you are not alone. So we're gonna tackle this whole thing together, okay? And hopefully if you do what I just shared with you, then over time, in one week time, two weeks time, or a month, you are going to be okay, like losing some of your own stuff, okay? You can do this endless armor thing for a while, but then, you know, it may convert into something where you decide that instead of a cheap gun, you pick a 50K gun, or maybe you, you know, you, you play with something more expensive. And since you already got used to like losing sometimes your free stuff, um, hopefully you're gonna be also fine with losing some of your items from your own inventory. There's one more thing I didn't share on Northridge Assault, play with T4 ammunition. So no purple cheap ammunition, because this whole thing only works if you are somewhat successful in Northridge Assault. You start you know, stacking up faction currency, then you buy the rig, then you go lockdown, and then you just simply repeat, repeat, repeat all the time. And if you're doing lockdown, I recommend you playing those maps for which you have keys that is gonna increase the chances of finding good loot. But I don't wanna derail this video. Let's stick to the free armor, okay? That should be like the message sticking into your head after you watch this video. Okay, free armor, how should I get free armor? Three steps, I'm gonna play Northridge Assault, then I'm gonna use that faction currency to buy myself armor, like the armor rig, and then third step, I'm gonna go into the lockdown version to practice losing. Like, I don't recommend that you should be hopping into lockdown and lose your stuff on purpose, but if you lose during the lockdown map, you're not gonna have that bad feeling because kinda your loadout is for free. Majority of the loadout is for free and therefore, hopefully, you're gonna have a better feeling hopping into lockdown. I hope it makes sense, but if not, then let me know in the comments section. And as always, shoot, loot, subscribe. Happy days, happy shooting, happy looting. Shady out. Bye. Shady's back.